Dean, I have the worst of like the snack attacks at night. Do you? Oh, always. It's always. the worst. And what I always end up doing is grabbing a spoonful of peanut butter. But you're in luck because today I have made you the specialist treat of all treats. And it is chia peanut butter pudding. What? Yes, just for you. And for me, maybe. I don't know. So Yum. maybe if you're good, I'll show you how to make it so that if I'm not here, you can still have it. We'll show them too. Well, okay. But I mean, maybe I'll make it for you too. I don't know. But stay tuned. We'll see. All right, guys, welcome back to the Messy Keto Kitchen. If you don't know by now, my name is Steffi. And if you don't know, it's because you probably haven't subscribed to the channel. So go ahead, take your two seconds and go ahead and do that. I promise you won't be sad. Today, we're going to be doing a chia seed pudding and not just a chia seed pudding, a peanut butter chia seed pudding. Now, for those of you who watched my videos in the past, you will know that we were recently approached by a place called nutstop.com, which is one of my favorite website names ever because well nut stop that's awesome so anyway they sent us a bunch of different um uh, seeds nuts all that kind of stuff to try amazing they sent us so much good stuff their prices are amazing and no we don't get paid any extra or anything like that for using their products we just really like them they're really awesome so i asked people if they would send me their favorite chia seed recipe because i have never made anything chia seed related i've always wanted to they are a perfect keto supplement because they not only make good puddings they also can help thicken up a gravy they can help i don't know what else it's a good thickener but it also kind of acts like a tapioca kind of style as far as the texture that you're going to get at least this is what i'm told so that being said, here's the ingredients you're going to need for our peanut butter chia pudding. And yes, I have notes. I had to find a recipe because none of you sent me a recipe. All right, first and foremost, you are going to need peanut butter. One cup of peanut butter, no sugar added to that. You could do powdered peanut butter if you wanted to. You would just have to make sure that you mix water in to get the consistency for one cup of peanut butter. You are going to need unsweetened almond milk. I have almond um, unsweetened almond milk that is vanilla flavored. That's up to you. I don't know, it might ruin the the recipe it might be awesome we'll find out so one and a half cups of that you're gonna need a quarter cup of ground chia seeds and like I said nut stop we got this bag it's a full pound bag super inexpensive when it comes down to it if you shop and compare you will find that these guys have the right products the right price so we're gonna do a quarter cup of those um, we will need to grind these and here's the other thing so these ones aren't already pre-ground you can grind them in your coffee grinder that is easy same thing applies with erythritol we're gonna be using a quarter cup of powdered erythritol for this if you don't already have powdered erythritol you only have the granulated don't spend extra money buying it. You can grind it into powdered erythritol and save yourself the $8 for an extra bag of erythritol, okay? You are going to need um, a little bit of sea salt, so a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Also gonna need one teaspoon of vanilla or vanilla essence. And then up to you, optional, you can use uh, sugar-free chocolate chips, sugar-free chocolate chunks, maybe a Lily's bar, for shake, chocolate shavings on top, you could do crushed peanuts, you could do whatever. So the possibilities are endless, at least that's what I'm told. Let's get started. Super easy recipe, literally all of these ingredients are just gonna get put into the blender. Oh, I forgot one more important thing. You will need a glass of water for this recipe. Doesn't matter the size, just have a glass of water ready. All right. So it doesn't matter the order that you put these in. I know that once you put peanut butter in a blender, you're never gonna get it off the bottom if you put it in first. So you always put liquid in first. So like I said, we are looking at, I believe one and a quarter cups of our unsweetened almond milk. And I got this at Costco, no surprise. Anybody who's watched my channel knows I get a bunch of my stuff at Costco, but this is a, they have the six pack of the almond milk and the coconut milk too for, I can't even remember, it's pretty cheap. So that's a much, uh, much better way to go about it. But again, if you're not really big into it or you don't think you're gonna use that much, maybe getting six would be too much for you. So, alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and add our sweetener in. Like I said, this is a quarter cup. And remember that if you are using granulated and you're switching over, making it to the, um, the powdered stuff, it is a half ratio. So you're gonna end up with basically double the amount of the granulated, uh, the granulated stuff when you do uh, the powder. So, um, so you'll have extra left over for the next time. So you put that in there and we're gonna put our little bit of our sea salt or our Himalayan salt in there. All right, one teaspoon of our vanilla. I love vanilla. Like everything you add vanilla to pretty much gets better. I'm sure of that. So before I add my peanut butter in, I'm just gonna give this a quick pulse. That's just what I would do. Just start getting that mixed in. All right, and then take your peanut butter 
and scoop it in here. All right, and this part, I cannot emphasize this enough, guys, the most important step of this. Mm. Mm. And that's why you have your glass of water. Mm. Aha, you didn't know where I was going with that, and here we go. All right, pulse again, just to get the peanut butter to the bottom. Mm. All right, so it's already pretty thick. And now I'm gonna take a pause real quick because I'm gonna go grind up my chia seeds. Like I said, I believe we are looking at a quarter cup of this. So I'm gonna go put these in my grinder and I'll be right back. And if you flip over your grinder, that way you don't end up with a bunch of stuff stuck to the bottom. All right, so I've got my, my chia seeds and I'm just gonna go ahead and enter the chia seeds into the race now. Let's see who wins. And by the race, I mean who's going to make it to the bottom of the blender first. All right, so pulse. And then grab your spatula from before. It doesn't matter that you licked it. And I don't care if you think this is gross. It's just me and Dean eating this. So I can lick the spatula and put it back in. Do you? I don't really care. All righty. And no surprise, anything that's got peanut butter in it is going to be nice and thick. And of course, the chia seeds, like I said earlier, they act as a thickener anyway. So you're going to, it's going to be thick. This is right. You have not done anything wrong, at least not that I know of. Again, I'm trying this out too, guys. It could suck. This could be the worst thing ever. And I'll be like, wow, what a waste of ingredients. I don't think it will because it's got peanut butter in it. All right, so now I've got it to a pretty good consistency. It's nice and smooth. Everything is blended in and incorporated. And so what I'm gonna do, like I said, this recipe I found super easy. And you guys know me, I do not do stuff that is way too detailed or entailed or detail entailed. I don't even know because I don't wanna spend all my time doing recipes. As a matter of fact, I've been um, holding back on recipes a little bit as far as the channel goes only because I didn't tell you guys the sad story. Our house flooded. Um, the valve from our upstairs bathroom burst off at two o'clock in the morning and flooded our house. And so for the last two plus months, we've had construction crews in here and we still have no flooring down. So they just finished doing all the drywall and the painting and now we're waiting for floors. So if you look around, it looks like a normal kitchen until you look at the floors. So we haven't been doing as much, but we are back. We can do this without floors. And in the meantime, let's make some chia pudding. You know what I forgot to do, Dean? I forgot to taste this and see if the sweetness is to my liking. Should I just use the, the spatula again? You might as well. Yep, it's dope. It tastes so good. And you can do whatever size you want on these ones. Um, these will fit, the recipe says that it's about six portions and it's probably right. My house isn't that fancy, so I have like three matching bowls and then like two other ones that might match, so. But just for the sake of our video here, I'm just gonna show you what it's gonna look like. So look how nice and thick that is. It came out really nice. The texture's already there, but you still wanna refrigerate this for about three hours, it says, just so that the texture of the chia seeds, like it gets all the moisture in there, everything starts to come together. But I'm gonna be fun and funky, and like I said, I'm gonna put a couple of, um, what are these called, Dean? I forget the names. Chocolate. They're called chocolate chips. Uh, that was a trick, Dean, and you, you failed my test. So nothing super fancy, just a couple of these on top. And on the other three, I might just do leave it alone. I might put something else on top of it. But in the meantime, that's what I'm going to do. So this is as simple as it gets, you guys. These can be good for breakfast. These can be good for, for dinner. They could be good for dessert, however you want to look at them. Chia seeds have a ton of great fiber, so they're really good for keeping bowel regularity. I know you guys can act like you're prudes, but we all, it's something we have to worry about, especially as you get older. So this is good for you, okay? If you don't want to be straining, all right? One more look at that, yum. We've got chia seed pudding. Until next time, you guys, if you think of any other chia seed recipes or any other recipes that involve the fun products that nutstop.com has available, holler at me. You know I'm gonna make them for you. You know I'm gonna try them. So check back with us in our next video and I'll tell you how awesome these were. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.